So with free commas smart trade, you have a great overview of all your trades on all your exchanges. First of all, on the left of the menu on smart trading, you can see the terminal. Now the terminal offers a great way to have a general overview of your account and of all your open orders. You can also see that it has implemented the trading view chart so you can quickly get a sense of the market right now. So on the top you can see that you can choose the account, the market, which are the coins that the pair is trading against. In this case it's BUSD. And then you can choose the pair and you can choose them out of all the pairs that are available on your account. You can also choose to customize this layout that you can see here. So for example, you can move all these um, columns or you can also increase the size. And you have also have the option to remove something if you don't want to see it or if you don't feel you have to see it. Now then on the left, you can see a typical smart and sell where you can easily and quickly buy into a certain crypto or sell a certain crypto. You can either do that by purchasing at the market price, at a set limit price, or you can do condition and orders. Now a condition and conditional order is where you specify a trigger price. And if this certain price is reached, then your order is set into the order book. So as long as the trigger price isn't reached, your balance is still free to use. And as soon as the trigger price is hit, then your balance is converted into an order and is put into the order book. So it's a great way to make more use of your money. Because otherwise, if you don't do a conditional order, you just do a typical limit order. I would say I want to buy Bitcoin for $45,000 and I say buy and it will instantly put my order into the order book and the money is reserved. I cannot use it anymore. But if I say condition in order and I say uh, when Bitcoin reaches $44,995, then put an order into the order book, which says that I want to buy it $45,000. So in that way, up to this point, I still have all my money free and I can still use it somewhere else if I have the feeling of doing that. And you can also see the order book right now, so you can see the depth of the current of the current orders, which also gives you a great overview of the current market. And you have your integrated trading view chart. And as soon as you switch another pair, it will also update on the trading view chart. And then you can see your current account portfolio, all your open orders, and also your trades history. Now the terminal is just a great way to have an overview of everything, but it's not really used for advanced trading. For that, you can head over to a smart trade. Now with smart trade, you also have a pretty similar layout. So you can see your exchange, the market, and then the trading pair integrated with the trading view chart and the order book. What's now so special about the smart trade page is that you can scroll down and there are now a few different options on how to create the trade. First of all, we have the buy and sell, which is just an easy and quick buy and sell of your cryptos. So this is just what you usually will see also on your exchanges. And we have the smart trade. So with the smart trade, you can specify again how much you want to buy at which price, which can either be limit, market or conditional again. And you can also specify a direct take profit and stop loss, which could also both be limit or conditional. What you can also do is you cannot set only one target profit, but you could split your targets. So let's just say I buy at $45,000 and then my take profit will be at $50,000. I will click on add TP target and now I sell 25% of my position at $50,000. Now if I want to sell another 25% at $55,000, I can just enter 25% at $55,000 at TP target and now you can see that I can have more target profits and it's easier to create it that way. And you could also set up a trading take profit and you can then also set up a stop loss where with the stop loss you could also set a stop loss timeout which would mean if you have a stop loss let's just say at $43,000 once the coin drops under $43,000 if I have a stop loss timeout then it would wait 300 seconds. And if the price is still under the $43,000 after the 300 seconds, then it would sell my position. Um, you can use this if you're trading coins that have a lower volume, and then you can prevent yourself from getting stopped out by a sudden pump and dump. So what we also have on free commas is the smart sell, 
where you can sell currently owned cryptos that you already have. So in this example, I have 0.2 Bitcoin and I will specify how much I want to sell and at which price I bought them at. Then I can specify take profit, which would mean in this example, I would sell with 10% take profit or I could also um, specify a stop loss where I would sell my position with negative 4%. So it's just a quick way to specify take profit and a stop loss for coins that you already own. Then we also have a smart cover, which is pretty similar to the smart sell, but it would also sell your currently open position. So for example, I have 0.2 Bitcoin in this account. Now if I sell all my Bitcoin or if I specify all my Bitcoin, then it will sell at this price that is specified right here. And then it would wait until either the take profit or stop loss is hit. Take profit would mean that after I sold my position, the price will go lower. And then after the take profit is hit, it will open a new position. So this is called take profit in with this example, because I sold at a higher point and then I bought back at a lower point. Stop loss would mean that I still made profit with my initial sell, but instead of buying lower again, I bought higher again because the price didn't go lower, but it went higher after I sold my initial position. And then last but not least, we have the smart buy, which is the opposite of the smart sell. So again, the smart sell was for coins you already own that you've already bought previously, where the smart buy is typically used if you already have an open short position. So in this case, you will specify at which price that you shorted at. And then you can also specify take profit and stop loss. So if the take profit would mean if the price goes lower, then it will buy. So, so essentially you sold high and then bought lower. This would be the take profit with a short position. And then with a stop loss, um, this would mean that the price went above your initial sell price. So you shorted, but then it went above. So this is the loss that you take.